Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil. So we're going to be going over keys, approximately five keys to fast progression. Okay, so these keys are are going to be in a way in a timeline based um, thing. It will happen to you as you progress through the game. The first thing that is crucial actually are keys to you be to you progressing fast is actually choosing the right character combinations okay let me get this out of the way you guys are re-rolling right so once you re-roll you usually get the best characters out there okay so more or less what i'm saying is if you are having a bad account the worst that you can have as a bad account is having roko as your healer Having Armand as your, what do you call this? Having Armand as your uh, guardian. Fen, if you want to spend that dollar, you can get her. And you have media for free as well. So again, that is the worst lineup that I can think of. Um, if, you know, if you, if you, you create your lineup right. Um, I used Armand. She's actually decent. She can carry you until you get Gildan. But let's say, for example, you you really got Gildan in the reroll. So you got Gildan, you got Gildan, you got Fen, you got Media, and you got Roko. Again, if you don't want to get Fen, you still have Media, Gildan, and Roko. That's actually a good core. You just add. You have to have one more DPS. If you're looking for a DPS, there are a lot of serviceable dps here like chlor so again it really requires you just to pick the right uh, you know right combination of heroes ideally you'll have to have one guardian one helper no one guardian one healer and two dps if not probably one dps and one buffer if you want to use screamer so again the the mainstay here would be a healer a guardian and two dps that is actually a very good lineup already um if you you know if 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 you mess that up um you can actually tweak your lineup as you go along so that lineup is actually good for farming good for everything for leveling up your heroes so you make a good team do your rerolls properly and that is step one step two is basically the reputation this is it the reputation uh for your troop so your troop reputation you usually have two bottlenecks one at 29 before you go to 30 and one at 49 before you go to 50. these two bottlenecks are present because there are stages that you cannot go to unless your troop level is 30 or 50 okay to address both of these you really need to move through the uh the story because you'll be getting experience here for your troop and you have to move through your tasks your daily tasks also give you that experience so with all that said and done um you just have to be patient you will eventually get there you're not stuck there forever you're probably stuck for the day you just have to make sure that you farm your dailies you farm your um your adventure then everything will will be fine again you'll be required to level up some of your characters we'll go to that later leveling up characters so you, you'll be required to level up characters. You can level them up along the way in your adventure, of course. Okay, the next uh, uh, key that you need to more or less try to improve on, or th this one is a bit, um, you know, it, it's, it's a bit your decision depending on how you're going to do it because both of these will require decision making one of them is effort one of them is going to have an implication on your summoning okay so what i what i you know what i'm referring to is your energy so in your energy this the, the keys here is the refills so refills here i would suggest 
at least two refills if you really want to progress further and faster the 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 key here is to spend refills okay so the first two refills is a fifth uh, first two uh, each of 50 so 50 50 the third one is at 80 the third one at 80 it's really up to you but i would recommend only two so spend only 100 dobrio styles in total for the day and also guys don't forget if you want to maximize your progression in terms of energy make sure that you play early in the morning then you play in the afternoon or in the evening so at least play twice playing three times a day is actually good as well but two is actually what is needed for you to progress because anyway your energy will be recharging so and you might get you know you might get um these ones here the uh, ether uh, regeneration so you might get this along the way so again it will require you to decide on whether you want to spend the Briostal or, or or also if you're going to be playing twice a day one in the morning and one in the afternoon or the evening so that is your third key the next key to fast progression would be uh obviously upgrading your heroes combat power is the key if you have a low combat power it's very obvious that you're not going to be uh, clearing some of the stages so how do you upgrade your your combat power your skill you upgrade your awaken you get copies you upgrade um what else the affinity as well will if you raise the affinity you will also gain stats for that so as you can see here i'm at 12 and i've unlocked stats and okay guys so since now that we're here with the you know the discussion on improving your cp as one of the keys the other key to you know to fast progression and eventually this is the last key that you need to work on is acquiring plays so as you move through the adventure you'll be unlocking plays you'll be able to farm them some of them you'll be getting as a set so these are your plays the, your plays have a lot to upgrade to you know to tinker with you have your upgrade you have your you have your upgrade of course increase in level exalt is duplicate or mirror muse you can use that so again to make the play increase in stat the adapt is also a stat increase that you can also put in here so you can farm th these as well i'll show you where to farm them later so for for the for the place uh, uh where to farm the place and where to farm the adapt and also the sign here also increases the stat so let's go to farming of place so you can farm your place in outland of course then it's going to be farmed in your mesmer uh, mesmerizing labyrinth so you have to farm these um i cannot cancel this because i'm uh, you know i'm in an ongoing play here so mesmerizing labyrinth you, you have several several labyrinths there each with a different difficulty so try to uh, conquer what is actually fit for your combat power actually not difficulty combat power and you can farm place there as you grow stronger you'll be able to farm harder labyrinths so this is where you get your um your place also guys um if you want to um forgot what it's called so let's go back so you have your place here If you want to adapt and you want to use your conceptions okay so that is what it's called so go back to the lobby go back to outland here you have to unlock the show this unlocks at 4-14 so once you unlock this you can farm conceptions here so again your plays are the last key to your fast progression because without the plays you cannot really improve your CP forward and more or less that's it so just to recap with you guys so number one is make sure first key is to make sure that you have the right lineup from the start do your rerolls 
um, tweak your lineup as you go along. Next is um, the bottleneck for 49 and 29. Make sure that you farm um, experience for the, uh, in adventure and also your daily task. Number three key is energy. So again, play two to three times a day and also um, at least refill two times for your Dobrirostal, which is 100 per day. Next up is going to be your CP or combat power. Make sure that your your heroes are up are upgraded, of course. And the last one, uh, you really have to farm plays eventually. The plays are going to be your main leveling up. Um, uh, what they call this? Your main leveling up tool, uh, not tool, uh, goal, because you have to eventually have five star plays for each especially if those plays are built for that hero or character then you're gonna be good so that is it so five keys to fast progression hope this helped you guys and uh again if you have comments please do put them down in the comment section i uh, really hope that helped uh, there have been a lot of questions regarding people being stuck and again, I'm open to questions. Just put them down in the comment section. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.